Hi everyone, welcome back to channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys doing good. Today we will discuss about the how many ways we can add a database in always on availability group. Okay. So before starting the session, I would request each and everyone who are newly joined on channel, please like to subscribe and don't forget to share with others. Please visit the channel playlist. You will get the more video about the real time scenario. Let me start the today's session. So after creating the always on, uh, you know, uh, if you want to add a database in all AG group, so how many ways we can add it? Okay. This topic basically is, you know, uh, one of the new features for automatic seeding. We'll discuss later. So as we all know, uh, you know, in our T group, we can add these three common way. Okay full database and log backups it means you know uh, you are initiating the you know synchronization by taking the full backup and log backup and then it will restore and then it will establish the data sync okay the second is the join only join only means you have already taken the backups and restored on the replica and while create you know adding the database in AG you are choosing this option to join only it will join the database in AG and it will establish the data sync third is the skip initial and synchronization which means as of now you know you want to skip the initialization M later part you will do the installation uh, restoration of uh, uh, database on a secondary replica and then you will initiate the data synchronization so when you are you know mm, dealing with the GUI, uh, you can see these three options like a full join only and skip initial data synchronization. So usually uh, we have choosing this uh, option like join only, and it's uh, recommended for uh, you know uh, the database in a bigger size as well. But in 2016 onwards, there is. A is uh, uh, Microsoft introduced a new features called automatic seeding or direct seeding okay so when you are you know adding this uh, database in AG you can choose this option through the management studio for that you have to uh, you know use for SSMS 2016 or later version okay this option you can you know do with uh, older SSMS also uh, but not in the GUI method if you have older SSMS you have to uh, deal with a different approach but recommended is uh, select this GUI approach install the latest SSMS and it is very easy and very uh, helpful so automatic seeding basically uh, are new features added in this approach earlier we have only three options like a full database join and skip initialization now we have automatic seeding also so while creating this you know ag or while you are want to if you want to add a database in a ag you can choose this option so few things is recommended for this option uh, you need to be enable the trace of 9657 by default it's not enable it's a recommended things you have to enable if you are using this auto seeding features because there is a ship you uh, uh, high consumption okay now we can see the steps to add the database in AG in automatic seeding so we'll will this uh, will go one by one based on this screenshot you know so firstly you connect the primary replica right click the connect primary replica, add database and then you launch the wizard okay and after that you need to select add to database on existing uh, AG group this database should have the full backup needs right full backup should be uh, meets and after that you can see here it will uh, you know uh, meets the prerequisites then you can select the connect to the secondary replica in an access screen and initialize the data synchronization with automatic seeding so here you can see the automatic seeding you can select so what it will go you should have uh, so the few things is prerequisites for this approach you should have the similar directories you know both replica on uh, primary and secondary 
and uh, you have the enough storage capacity otherwise it will fail okay so these things you need to be pre-checked if it is not directly mismatch anything you will see the error if it is a smooth everything is fine then you will see this uh, screen like everything is success once the you know uh, you got this success uh, screen wait for some times because you know after that you can see this message it will come uh, it's a wizard completed successfully after that the synchronization will take the sometimes depends on the size of the database and the bandwidth okay if it is large database it will take some time to initialize the synchronization because log is log uh, started seeding okay primary to all replica so you can use this uh, you know auto seeding features normally in a small database easily we can use but in a large database recommended is you know used to join only option that is very much helpful uh, if it is a small database we can just yes, we can use this auto seeding features so after that uh, all the synchronization established you can validate through the AG dashboard data synchronization status if, if AG looks dashboard looks good your your task is done and AG is healthy so well that's it for today you can use these features I just want to convey this you know uh, al already we are using just I uh, have created who not aware of these features for auto seeding and direct seeding well that's it for today we'll meet soon in the next video